Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a landing page just like this. Currently, you are seeing my screen and it's a PNG, but I'll show you the XT file from where I, get, I got this design. So let me open that XZ file like this one. Uh, okay, let me show you how you can um, import this XD file on your PC. Uh, first of all, open google.com and type figp, F-I-G-P-E-A and press enter. And uh, you can see figp PSD viewer, Adobe XD viewer. So open this and click on browse. Uh, I have uh, the co-working PSD sketch fig and XD file. Fig file is for Figma, sketch is for sketch and XD is Adobe XD file. So I'll be using the XD file. All these designs are same, but I'll be using XD file uh, because it works with FigP. If you open figma.com, then you can, uh, you can access the fig file. Okay, uh, now if you press Alt, on your keyboard and scroll up then it will zoom in now release the alt button and drag the design to the top okay first of all uh, we will install elementor on our wordpress come to your dashboard i already installed elementor and it's elementor free uh, you do not need to have the pro version uh, come to plugins click on add new and just type elementor and you can install the plugin right there. Type Elementor. Press Enter. And install the Elementor plugin. Uh, but I already have it. Then uh, it will show me the update or activate. So I'll do not update it right now because it will take some time. Uh, I'll just create a new page. Uh, once you activate the plugin, come to Pages add new page give it a title like my new home page and choose the template uh, I'll choose the elementor canvas because I'll uh, if I want to add the menu like this but uh, currently I already have a menu if I show you my WordPress uh, home page then you can see this is my menu and I'll leave it as Elementor full width because uh, it will include my current menu. So, uh, and I do not want this menu, but uh, you can uh, view this video, uh, this um, header as well. You can uh, build this header as well because in my previous video, I showed how to build this header. So uh, if you want to watch that, uh, just um, open the video from the description or uh, if you play the whole playlist then previous video is about the header and complete page so uh, currently I'll use full width because I want to use my current menu which is this one okay after publishing uh, or updating the page just open the dashboard in new tab and from the edit page type edit, uh, click on edit with Elementor It will start loading the Elementor editor, which is on front end side. Okay, as you can see, we have header and footer as well. So you can use your common footer uh, with this template. Okay, first of all, let's come to the design and see what area you have uh, in the banner. So uh, first of all, we will uh, download this background. Uh, for this, we will uh, need uh, two separate columns, one column this and one this column. And uh, then we will uh, populate these contents. So come to the editor, click here and add two column row, this one. Now uh, we will get the background, this pink uh, and greenish background. So click on this edit mode or select and choose the elements you want to get click on export to see what element you are getting 
and this is it yes it is the element we need uh, maybe we, we should remove this white box I don't know what this is so this rectangle just remove it press shift and select these two eclipses and now click on export and we have these eclipses now start downloading uh, I built a folder on my desktop by the name of landing pages so I'll um, make all these contents I'll upload all these contents to that folder uh, so these are circles or eclipses whatever you call it okay now open the page and come to the PSD again so we put these contents okay click on this image as well export it okay this is a spiral they call it vector 1 but I'll call it spiral so I remember where to put it now this image and if we explode this we have a rectangle here we have three images here so let's select the whole group maybe we have it all no we just have this one so click uh, press shift click this group eclipse one two and three and let's export it and we have all these three images click on download and let's name it Uh, left banner or banner uh, right images banner right images now we will get this title copy uh, click on this title and then click on the text to copy it come to the front end and add a new element first grab the image and choose the image that spiral image click on insert media now add a title and paste that title here we just copied from there come here and copy this image which uh, we already copied this image so put it in the next column here click on image and grab the image here click on image and upload select that banner right image and click on insert media after uploading okay now we will uh, get that background so click on this row parent and click on style now click on background type click on image choose file and upload these circles after uploading the file just click on insert media and it will be set up as a background to all uh, to the whole div click on insert media okay now about the position center center and attachment is default repeat none no repeat and size will be cover or contain contain is good uh, now uh, change the center center to top center or let's add a custom position you can move it on X position and right position Y position okay now let's see the opacity uh, then click on background overlay choose color white and increase the opacity so we have a little bit of the background view let's compare it with the original design uh, okay it's right there mm, okay it's a bit 
similar to that one okay now uh, we will copy the font of this so open the xd file click on the title and check the text size it's 58.5 but first let's copy the font family when you click over the value of any these properties then it will automatically be copied so click here click on the title click on style and click on typography in the font paste that font and choose it if it have you have it in the list if you do not have it uh, just use roboto you can add custom fonts uh, by by downloading them from google roboto let's choose roboto and the size will be 58.5 let's see if it matches no it not look good so we will change it to 38 decrease the size of this parent okay uh, let's move the background a little bit more click on position position y y is okay change the position x here and it's okay now uh, let's see the position of this spiral uh, i think it's in the middle so if we click on this and vertical align to the middle maybe it works but uh, it doesn't so we will add a spacer click here grab a spacer above the spiral and increase the spacer size so it looks similar to this one okay now what we have is this thing city location and schedule visit uh, it looks like a form and these looks like uh, fields we will not insert these images because these are profile links some sort of uh, slack integration maybe uh, but i will not uh, add adding them because it's it needs uh, an api so uh, this this form uh, will be added by using html let's see come here and add a new column uh, sorry add a new element html and grab it here now let's start building the form let's check the number of fields which is city location and one button so first of all we will add a wrapper like uh, form and action is equal to get then sorry action uh, is not it's, it's a method is equal to get now type input uh, let's see what was the field it's city and location so we will keep the main the main field as city name is equal to s placeholder city and next one is locations location copy the field and type input name is equal to location placeholder location and close it now we will make a submit button uh, input type is equal to submit 
and name is equal to let's see what the name was it's schedule schedule visit I think it's value schedule visit let's give this form a class class is equal to property search or anything else property search now let's add some CSS for this form first of all we will set up the width and first let's give the style tag and get the class property search and give it uh, display or just add position absolute uh, relative relative is not working for this so absolute with 100 percent or let's say 120 150 percent 160 percent 180 percent and you can see that uh, the form is getting behind this image so we will add a z index z index of 999 and it's already above that form okay now we will add some padding 20 px and some background color let's type silver for now so we can adjust the width of this 160 let's say 150 okay 150 is fine now let's see the opacity opacity is background opacity is 0.5 or let's just use RGB color replace this with RGB background 3 172 to 40.5 so let's say 0 0.3 uh, yes it's good the background color is 0.3 now you can get the exact RGB color code for silver color let's find on Google silver color RGB and you can get it 2112121 uh, come to the page and replace these ones with this and increase the opacity to 0.5 again uh, let's say 0.7 yes it's good now and it's something like this now now change the typography city and location let's change the typography to um, Roboto search area input search and input which is font family and roboto and here we go okay now we will change the style of this button uh, the button is this one like dot property search and input which is type is equal to submit 
we will use border radius 0 px and now uh, let's see the size size of the button and the background so let's get the color the background color of this button uh, click on the button and copy the fill color this is a fill so this is the background color and the foreground color the text color is white click here background color is the code we copied and let's say border radius is 5 so it looks something like this 5 is not much it's 3 or 4 let's say it's 4 okay now we will get the height of the button maybe it's 20 px no it's 40 50 okay 50 px is good now we will add some spacing between the buttons mm, margin 10 px and it's good 10 px is good okay uh, we will move to the next section now if you open the PSD then there are some logos so open the XT file and copy these logos one by one download and it will be google.png it's already named as Google next is slack download it slack.png okay next is this blank dot bitmap okay the dropbox download save and finally Shopify click on export download and save okay now open the editor and add a new row which will be a full width row let's see what color of background it's white so we'll keep it transparent click on add and then scroll down and search for gallery basic gallery click here click on add upload files select and choose the files we just uploaded and then we will arrange the sorting we will sort the icons once they uploaded create gallery now sort them S grab Google and slack and then Dropbox and Shopify it's the same order as the original one so click on insert gallery and it will be listed as a gallery here uh, but change the image size from thumbnail to full because we will need the full images and change the columns from 4 to 5 because we will add 5 pictures in a row one more thing uh, we will need to add some extra padding to the first row let's add some padding ok 30 is enough now change the size of this width to 150% to 155 ok 155 is fine now add some padding to this section as well choose this then click on advance and add 30 padding so we will have the same container for this and this ok now move on to the next section which is this image 
the background and then these contents and some call to action button so click on the design scroll down and first of all let's get the background image the background image includes this circle another circle here and a rectangle so let's see okay rectangle is on the background so first select rectangle eclipse 1 and 2 and now let's check okay this is much better we will export this PNG to the second background click on download and name it as second background to remember it okay come to the PSD again and get this image click here click export and download the left side banner image mm, second banner left image and upload it to the server add the two column layout add padding advanced 30 30 is uh, the default for our setting because uh, for all we are adding these this padding to uh, up to 30 okay click here and add image and choose that image the left side banner image the second banner left image second banner left image this one now click on insert media okay it's a bit larger than we saw so i think this area is smaller now click here these six dots for the row the whole row and come to style click on background and click here upload that second background this one and click on insert media okay now let's add the position position will be center center or let's keep it custom repeat is no repeat attachment is default size is contain uh, or let's make it cover and let's choose a custom position on x here and on y like this and add a background overlay of white color similar to the the first um, the first section we did change opacity to 0.3 or 0.7 okay 7 is good now open the PSD again and start copying contents first of all click on this tag which is services copy the name let's open the builder and add a heading and paste that text here now let's copy the typography which is gallery semi bold let's add it if it's there click typography paste that font here okay we do not have it so we will be using Roboto for this as well now choose the color copy the fill size is 18 and the fill is this one so first of all let's paste the color here and then the size which is 18 
okay now let's move on to the next section which is title the size is 52 and color is black so copy the text add a new title and paste that text here size is 52 and color is black next copy the text this one click on text to copy it and size is 15 for this and color is black let's come here in the contents drag editor paste that text here in the style typography is 15 and font is roboto mm -hmm. now let's see if it fits uh, okay now copy this button we have the name let's copy the name okay the button background is this one this is like orange color so come here and choose the button drag button to the page and in the style click on background the text color is white and the background color is that color just we just copied now scroll down to the border radius and make it zero let's see if it's actually zero it's three so increase it to three and the text is view availability come to the content again and type view availability and let's move to the next section okay here is our vision okay in the next section we can see the background uh, these images and some data uh, as well as these icons so come here add a new column uh, a new row and the row will be two columns similar to this one so click here add a new row first let's add padding padding will be 30 px and now let's get some contents first of all let's get all these images along with uh, this background so click on any one of them and then click all group click on export and you can see all images combined in one you can also get these images one by one but as we are uh, adding this to a section uh, that is why I'm getting this as a group so it's third banner right image third banner right image and add it to the right section grab the image upload the file and choose that right side file this one third banner right image open it and click on insert okay that's perfect now we will get uh, these background images let's click on export these are lines some lines uh, so let's choose the second background if we have it maybe this is the vector the second vector and the frame let's see now we know we do not need the frame let's just add these two vectors these are the small lines if you want to add them so let's export them and download 
and name it third banner background third banner background click on save and let's come to the editor and choose these dots click on style and then click on background and add that image third background uh, third section or third banner background click on insert media and we have these lines you can change the position but I'll uh, leave it as it is just repeat to no repeat and size default position default attachment default okay now click on this section we have a similar title and description in this these three contents are similar to the um, above these ones so we will copy this element duplicate it and grab this to this section then duplicate this one grab it to the next section duplicate this one and grab it to the next section we will replace the content like that and we also have a button here so let's copy the button as well and paste it here okay let's copy the text its visions copy here click here and paste it now copy this title click on text and add click on this title and add it here then let's add the contents click on this content box copy the text and paste it here and now the button explore more click on the button and change it to explore more now let's add these uh, middle contents which are these four three boxes with these images so come here press alt and zoom in a bit get it to the center now let's copy this icon click select this group and here is the building okay uh, download this building type name building copy the next icon which is group 95 export it bag and then the third one which is aim and click on save okay now that we have these icons we will now uh, add these titles and contents we will need four columns one column this this column this column and this column uh, then we will adjust the sizes of these columns, the, the width of these columns so come here click on these grab the inner sections here and uh, you have three columns or uh, two columns already so copy duplicate it and duplicate it again now let's reduce the size of first one and the size of third one so we can add images let's add the image here choose the building let's upload all these small images the building bag and aim 
Press open. And insert the building one. I think this is the building. Okay, click on insert media. We are here. Click here, add image again. And choose another image which was bag. Uh, we already have them in the library. So no need to upload again. And similarly, uh, just duplicate this row and add another icon here click here to edit and choose the image the aim click on insert media and remove this one because we have only three sections okay now here let's add a title and just copy the contents of the first title uh, the size is 16 and the color is black okay here paste the content let's copy the content we forgot to copy it and the size is 16 come here but you should see at your screen if 16 is not fit you can reduce it to whatever you want okay it's 10 now here and now grab another element text editor here and let's copy the text which is this size for this is 13 but let's see maybe uh, 10 will work for this as well the style and typography maybe 10 yes 10 is working uh, okay now we will grab a little bit up because we do not have space uh, much space between the title and the content of this section so just click here click on advanced unlink the margins and then mm, some minus margins like 12 okay now just duplicate this column uh, sorry this section and grab it here then duplicate this and grab it here now click on the title let's copy the title of the first one this one copy the text and paste it here now the second one copy the text paste it here okay uh, similarly we can mm, copy this to here so we can change the contents according to that section copy the text as well okay now let's copy the title of this section copy this as well okay we have this section ready come to the builder and you can see it's pretty much good okay now let's move to the next section let's see if we have something different okay this section is pretty much the same as the above uh, and we have this one a little bit different so let's add a title uh, then another title and then these icons and these things we will build uh, this one section and then we will duplicate and replace all these contents uh, just like we did for this section this one okay so first of all let's come to the section and press alt and zoom out get it in the middle okay now click on the title copy the why choose us and uh, this is pretty much similar to this one so we will copy this duplicate it and grab it to this section 
uh, okay let's add a section first it's a full width section so grab that title to this full width and let's change the content why choose us make it to the middle now copy the next title this is also the same as this one so we will first copy the text here then duplicate this one duplicate it grab it here and paste that text and make it to the middle let's size down to this uh, to a specific size where you think it's look it looks good like this and let's add some padding to the left and right let's say 100 to the left 100 to the right mm, let's add 200 okay 200 is good now uh, we will make this first section these are five columns one two three four five so uh, we will first build five columns here uh, let's grab inner sections and duplicate or let's just first build one uh, first title first image is this one so click here click on export uh, okay star is missing so click on this event and we are here download mm, item 1 let's name them item 1 2 3 click here the dumbbell and download it item 2 let's add this Wi-Fi image export as item 3 and item 4 the globe or internet item 4 and finally we have item 5 this sofa item 5 ok now we get all these things and we will sort it on the elementary page uh, first let's get the image and make it to the center as well upload item 1 click on insert media after uploading now let's see the title and the text so the title size is little bit different so we will make a new one the heading let's copy the text community event copy the text and the size is 20 uh, no not 20 it's let's see what size fits it's 20 but uh, let's see what size fits for this paste that and click on style typography let's add 10 okay 10 is too small uh, but I think this this size will be working because uh, we will be adding five widgets in the same row 
so let's add up to 13 okay 13 is good uh, and make it center in the content make it center and then the text so text editor and select all and paste it now click on style and typography to 9px or let's say 10 11 11 is good and make it to the center as well now just duplicate this four times and remove the last one because this one was extra okay now add item 2 click on insert media let's see item 3 Item 4 and finally item 5 Okay, now let's add the titles press shift uh, sorry alt and scroll up to zoom in copy the text paste it here next wireless copy the text paste here next community event global availability copy text paste here next comfort launches copy and paste here Similarly, you can copy the text as well. So let's check out the design. Okay, the next design is uh, pretty much the same. It's the same. And uh, the footer is also four columns. And then you can add two menus, some buttons. Uh, so you can do similar to all the above items I showed you so uh, this was all for today's video I hope you loved this design and you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will be notified for my future videos thank you